Hello everyone and welcome back to Galactic Civilization 4 Early Access or well Alpha version that we are playing here and yeah well we are now in February so in week 9 that we are already pushing forward to and well we do have a couple of planets available here right now four we have colonized so far the latest one is Seba over here or Keba um, that we can use now that is adding our farm bonus and we do also have a quite a few problems right now so the first one is that we do have unhappy populations in Artemis so Artemis is not looking so great right now we can check Artemis and show what is actually bad on it right now quite a lot of things so the highest points would be that taxes are too high and also they are unprotected now i have no idea what it means with this protection i cannot build anything for protection at the moment but about the other thing i could do something taxes are too high our income right now is almost at three i could probably i could probably do something about the tax or could i actually go ahead and reduce the taxes just for this one planet that would be pretty cool if that is possible. So that is unfortunately something I cannot do. I could lower my taxes to um, normal or even to low. So right now, are we at medium? It's a bit hard to see right now where we are here. Taxes and how much would it change then? Quite a lot actually if I go to low. I could though go to normal, right? And with that, perhaps we do get some better stuff out of it. This one halves my income to 1.2. But it should be a bit better now for the approval rating of these planets next turn then. Hopefully that is changing something. Let's at the end the turn finally. Um, research complete. We do have star bases now. And with that we also get some constructors up and running. And there it is. Planetology allows us to build agricultural districts for the food. Even though we do have a lot of food income right now. We can never really have enough of that. Also we could go with the entertainment. So we can get the entertainment districts up and running. Um, but let's go for the planetology right now. Actually, you know what? Let's change it to arm shuttles. Arm shuttles is something where we can start building some uh, ships ships up then. And that's probably a bit more important. There we got our first construction now. And by the way, we are unlocking more things up here. So this is by no, may, uh, no way finished yet, right? So we do have the modules now. Upgrades for star bases as a new resource. Now, this construct here, what can it do? I think it can get us some points over here in asteroids, right? So we can probably start something to build us the star bases. So let's get this one over to that star that we can get it into our territory. I think this is already starting to be in our territory, yet I would like to do it. So the advisor is already telling us that we have the military star bases that protect our borders and we have the economic star bases that boost nearby walls and communication star bases that extend our borders. So we do have a couple of options available there right now. I probably will need a couple of these constructors then to build me the star bases. Right now the colony ship still takes eight more turns. We also have supply ships, uh, refined goods to another colony providing 100 manufacturing points. All right. That's it though. Let's wait for the colony ship and then probably another probe. And about this one, do they lack protection? Yeah, they're unprotected. So it's probably best to build a military star base here so they do get their protection bonus. Our team is doesn't have that at the moment. But they are protected by... Oh, oh, I don't have a star base in Soul System. Completely right. We have a second constructor. I could start a star base here. And I could do a military star base. There you go. Our people have built permanent structures in space before, but nothing like this. This star base is an extension of our very civilization. Everything we do, everything we are can be found here. And from it, we will surely extend our civilization even further. Ah, and there we got it. Our first star base. And it's kind of like its own planet by the looks of it. This beauty here gives me now some protection there, hopefully. And we can build some modules to it, but not right now, because we don't have modules available. Does it change anything? Please tell me it is. It's still unprotected. What? We hate our culture. Minus 6% approval rating. Who are you? You're human. We hate our culture. That is a negativity, alright? I guess so. Alright, there's really nothing else that we can do here with that. It's just sitting around now in the star base or in this star system then for Seoul. And it should though provide then the protection. Perhaps next turn. I'm hoping for that. 
And I think it also depleted my ship. Yes, so one ship was consumed. So these constructors are being consumed when we built that. The next one is on its way to this system there, where we already have a planet that I will need to protect. And then I would probably like to aim for this planet here. Yeah. Let's end the turn. Okay, next turn we have finished the capital mainframe on Earth. That was our next construction over here. So this gives me a nice research boost of 20% and also plus one on the innovation and research that we can go ahead with. Now, well, we do have a couple new options available. No um, buildings at the moment that we could have here, but I think... Oh, we haven't now gotten the um, food stuff going. So that's still fine. We could go for something else. Manufacturing, perhaps, if we get a nice bonus somewhere. This one gives me then a bit more bonus for manufacturing and speeding up, I guess, research. For planet production, not research, of course. The faster ship and planet production that we get out of that. I could also have the financial districts. This is increasing my income. And since we do need income for quite a lot of things, and look at that, we are actually negative right now. With the latest billing, I think this costs me... Um, an upkeep here. I should probably go ahead with um, a bit of financial wealth. There is something here. So in the jungle gives me plus one wealth and building it here gives me an additional modifier on top of it so that we boost that. Let's build it. 15 turns it takes. I think that was the best one, right? Yep, there's only plus one wealth everywhere. So we can build that next one. Yeah, we're negative on the income right now. I need to be careful there. Probably will need to increase my taxes after all. Research complete. The armed shuttle is finished. So with that, we finally also unlock more uh, military tech that we can then have. And also the garrison. I think we're going ahead here right away with now the... Yep, there's the laser tech that we can start then. But let's go with planetology to start also the farming district. So at least we are unlocking now all the districts that are available to us then, right? That would be pretty important. Now, my discovery ship... It can level up, is that right? I think it can level up. Yes, it has leveled up to level 2. Very good. Can we do something with that? Yes, we can upgrade something. We can increase its hit points, its moves, or its communication. Let's actually go with sensor range, accuracy. Nothing that boosts the survey speed, though, unfortunately. But a bit more move points. Hmm. Or we go with sensor range. I think we go with that. That would be an upgrade here. Nice to have. Perfect. Let's end the turn once more. There's really not that much we could do at the moment. I'm still negative now. Also, survey climate purifier has been finished. So this is more experience points for my survey ship. Can I not build another survey ship, by the way? We cannot still do this. We have not unlocked the first military ships available to us, right? These here and the Phantom. But no mil, uh, no survey ships. I would love to get them. All right, the constructor here is has arrived, so we can also start construction of a base now. And I'm probably going with the military base, right? To focus. I mean, economy base doesn't make that much sense on the outer side. I probably would have made sense on Earth to have the economy base, right? Because we are getting the protection around it then. Um, and it would have been good for boosting the economy, but I wanted to show or I wanted to see if our team is would profit from a military base. Fortunately, it doesn't. So there's the next military base. It's still unprotected. It's very strange to me why it says that. They are also still unprotected. They also have a base now around them. Hmm, they have a military base in its area. Or... Nah, this one is even in its radius and it's still unprotected. No idea. No idea. All right, choose. Where are we? I think my next planet, Mars, has something available. Research or manufacturing. Let's boost it by manufacturing. It can actually have a plus four upgrade on it. I would like to go ahead with that. Plus, it's a manufacturing planet for us anyway. Another survey report within the debris fields are the remains of a precursor relic once more. So we could boost our research or we sell the relic and get a 250 in the treasury. The other one would be just plus 30 research. And I would really like to get some money. So let's do this because we are not looking that great at the moment money wise. Planetology has also been finished. So with that we can 
go for housing districts and agricultural districts as new buildings for our planets. Ah, and there's the research district. Let's go with that as well, since we will need this one. My probe, meanwhile, far outside here. I'm probably going to put it manually now to this one. Solar system, and then we have another one over there. And then I've explored everything around our core system. And we are, by the way, at the edge of the galaxy. Now that I see it, we're at the edge, so we are protected from behind at least. That's good to know. Right, let's end the turn. There's a new planet that we can go with. And the colony ship has been finished. We can now assign a citizen that is available on Earth and get it then to a new col uh, new planet. So I think Helene Grimur is one of the best ones. She's very intelligent, very diligent, and her expectations are low. That is a good thing for me, I think. And let's get this one on board. So this is, she's the one that is going to uh, new planets then. There is my colony ship. And let's just see. I think over here we had good planet. Nope. Unfortunately, I mean, that was a very good planet somewhere. Oh, it's that one here. It's excellent, but it's far away. We could still go for it, I guess. There's actually two here side by side. Three here side by side. Yeah, let's go for this. And I'm going to need a constructor for this bay for this um, system out there as well. Because we need to protect this one. Can I actually get a constructor up and running? There you go. Let's build the constructor. Let's build it now. Let's get rid of the drone there. I need that ship. We want to boost to get the next star base up and running. All right, the probe has arrived here. Nothing special. Let's go for that last system. Oh, incoming message from Altorian Republic. A slender blue skin spiped appears delicate in feature and manner. It speaks calmly at us in a strange yet somehow noble speech. Seeing no recognition in our response, it nods its head slowly, having realized the communication barrier that exists. If anything, it seems disappointed in us. We need to research the universal translator. Take a smile and nod as if you understand, then proceed to close the incoming message. <laughs> That's going to be it. Research is also finished. Uh, increases the amount of citizens who can live in our worlds. I guess we're going with this one. So we can increase the size of our planets. At least it sounds like that. Um, and we also need to assign a scientist now to a way to communicate mission. So that's this. It will give us a one culture point as a reward. And it gives me that research universe the translator, right? Now my probe, meanwhile, that's another interesting one. A dead world, a poor world, but at least one more colonizable planet. There's quite a lot of them here, by the way. I'm going to send this one now to explore once again. Right, so it can continue into new distances, into new worlds, perhaps. And a museum is opening up in a display about your life. They would like to know what you feel your greatest accomplishment has been so far. I've done nothing. My greatest accomplishment is yet to come. This may, gives me in innovation ideology awareness. This one gives me compassion. And this may, gives me cooperation. Together we have done everything. Let's go with this one. And it gives me the culture point. It gives me a culture point. The first one. Yes, we can now invest into liberty or innovation or opportunity. Let's just have a look. Gotta say, they are massive, these boosts. So the self-governance, for example, gives me 10% approval on colonies and a free leader. Sounds pretty good. In innovation, we get a free tag right away and also a massive boost of 32 research. And plus 1,000 one homeworld influence. In opportunity, we get the leader costs less and individualism gives me plus 2% global income. Let's actually go with self-governance for now. I like the approval on colonies that we will need anyway in order to improve our colonies. And by the way, we still have this. We are unprotected. But at least to get now the 10% approval rating there in addition. So it's, I think, looking a bit better now for this planet. Uh, 
And we can also sign a new leader. We can recruit a new leader. We can also now... Ooh. What? Ah, there is something new now unlocking. We have the governors. We have the diplomats. No diplomat yet. Commanders. Factions. And recruitment. And then we have the ministers. And we haven't decided on any minister yet. And I guess we do need to get these guys over here then. Right? Unassigned leaders. We could also recruit new leaders. I'm way too low on money though. But these are cheap. This one is very good for intelligence. But he's timid. And this one here is an equalitarian. And very good in diligence. Let's actually recruit one of them. There you go. And we can then assign them as ministers. So this one is very intelligent. Let's go for technology. Gives me timbers and boost to research. Very cool, actually. And this one is good for social. So colonization, I guess. Gives me approval rating. 10%. How could I miss this one? That's a lot. Let's put them in there. This should now significantly boost my global research or approval. Yes, we are at 61. It's going up. No rebellion any longer in sight. Another survey report. We get the retribution mission. The remains of a powerful warship are scattered across the debris field. We should be able to reassemble the bulk of the ship from what remains, but it had a unique engine core and missile system, and both are missing. We need to research that first. And then we have the away to communicate. How can I actually assign someone to that? By the way, here my colony ship arrives at Alturf. This is a class 20 excellent planet. It is terrestrial, so it's pretty close to our home world. And let's settle on this one. Perfect. Planet report. Despite the equipment and protocols set up to protect against the massive radiation on this planet, mutations are a fact of life for those who live here. A talented local surgeon believes that the most extreme cases might not be worth the time to spend to heal them. Instead, he suggests that we use those subjects as organ harvest donors <laughs> for the less critical planets. Do I need to make this decision now? It's a reasonable request. We get money. We do need money. Um, never. The citizens become mutated on this planet. Or I like the way the surgeon thinks promote him to a government role. A free leader. And pragmatism gets increased by one. Let's go with pragmatism. <laughs> we also get a leader out of it. Right? So this one is a free leader. I need to assign him anyway. He's very intelligent, and we don't need to pay anything for that. Sounds about right, and look at this planet. It's massive. We have lots of tiles available here. Alright, so let's start with the core capital world that we will need. I guess putting it right in the center here to the plains might be the best option. Plus one for research, plus one for manufacturing. And this one doesn't do anything for that. Manufacturing plus one, so I guess by placing it here, do we get a bonus? Nah, we don't get any bonus at all. It doesn't matter where we place it. That's really just that, right? So we can place it here. And as we can see, it immediately shows the things that we actually profit from this. So that's the approval rating that goes up. We have the coordination beacon. Creativity plus one. I could also go ahead here and build us something. We do have a nice output for food. So that's fine. Um, for research, we would also get a bit of an output here. Um, and of course, we have lots of these thingies available. So Ancient Wonders plus three research. And the research district here gets massively boosted by that. However, I guess we should also start with a bit of manufacturing to, you know, speed up the building process on this island. Unfortunately, what I can see, there is no manufacturing boost anywhere. Except for these smaller planes that we have. So let's go ahead and have manufacturing here. With that, we should be able to boost something then. Also, the supply depot for another 10%. Let's have this right next to it. And as we can see, the uh, uh, adjacency bonus here of plus two per level, right? So they boost each other. Perfect. Oh, this is something I haven't even considered yet. There is this adjacency bonus of these tiles. Um, that makes a lot of sense, really. Right? So this is going to be a powerful planet for our uh, for our empire. and Or for our republic. I think we're a republic. Survey debris fields was done. So this is another experience points that we get. And yeah, the Altarian Republic doesn't like us at the moment. But they, they don't even understand us. So that's that's that, I guess. Situation reports. The technology. Tales from the corners of our empire dazzle and 
innovate the people of our homeworld, every detail of space travel, colonial life and contact with aliens is endlessly fascinating to our citizens. In particular, our discovery of evidence of ancient alien civilizations has inspired many to believe that our own world hosts the remains of crashed alien ships. We could start the mission here that gives me liberty bonus. We could go with um, the other mission that gives me authority bonus. Let's go with liberty. If true, those would be a wonder. We should search for them, sharing all news of our discoveries with our people. A new mission has started. Gather three alien components, gather parts of destroyed warships, and then we still have this research universal translator. Where is that? There it is. It's the next research. Perfect, 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 perfect. That's the mission that we can finish then. Let's end the turn. Planetary mobilization has been finished. With that, we get the centralized um, administration and we unlock soldiers and also plus one population cap on my planets. And now I can go for the Universal Translator. Next one, also asteroid mining, really important. We can then mine asteroids and get manufacturing bonuses out of that. Perfect. Exactly what we need. And is there any way how I could boost my shipyard? Because it's really slow. A translator takes 13 turns. I guess we do need more manufacturing on Earth if we want to go with that. The financial district is coming, is, is going to be finished soon. So we could think about something there for manufacturing, right? We got the planes over there. We got forests. All of them have manufacturing and they're close together. We could boost them nicely. So we could have the Elon's lift that boosts the manufacturing bonus adjacency for all, everything around it. So that I would like to have in the center. And around it, we have then these districts, right? There's the first one. Let's build them to boost manufacturing here. Yes, the faster we are able to build and also build ships. That's something we need to consider. Very important, actually. So far, so good. Um, we have a new planet. We have a new tech. And now we are finishing the next mission here. For, or our first mission, actually. A way to communicate and also get another cultural point out of that. Stay tuned.